hello everyone so today we are going to implement this uh, oil surface material in unreal engine 5 so this is the preview so i have created this as to be used like a decal so yeah this is actually decal material so this is the area where the oil is built so yeah let's see how to implement this today okay so let's uh, get started with the material first i'll name this m oil and open okay so this is going to be a decal therefore i'll change the material domain to different decal and when i change that i get this error uh, materials using the different decal domain can only use the blend modes transverse and alpha composite to modulate so i'll change the blending mode to translucent and apply so if i just drag and drop automatically a decal actor is created but i don't see anything for now because uh, I haven't created anything any texture here all right so first let's make a color vector parameter uh, no not really a color all right to actually get the water sorry uh, the oil spill like a color we need something like a, you know multiple colors rainbow colors so texture so these are the things i already have but i don't really see anything in my project that has like rainbow colors so if i go to the engine contents if i enable engine contents we can see some more stuff I'm pretty sure oh here yeah. your color map so yeah pretty sure one of this will work mm, let's try this here color map oh texture sample right when I create it is uh, that selected texture is automatically applied here um okay so now you see those colors here and if i apply i should get the colors here also see i have the colors but so now let's get the shape like a puddle so for that all i need is some uh, random puddle shape so i'll create a material it's white i don't really need a color and let's create a shape that may might look like a puddle i think the shape would work so i don't need a line i need a filling so like this okay let me save this while puddle and head back here let me create a new folder oil and move here to keep things clean and let me enable that uh, oil puddle texture I just created. Import it in here. So this is what I have. So I'm going to use this alpha for the opacity. So I get a shape like this. See. So now it looks more like a 
some oil is spilled so when we spill oil we should see a sharp edge because uh, unlike water oil oil don't like spread with a faded edge they all they always maintain like a sharp edge because of their surface properties or something i don't know well also that depends on the kind of oil so if you spill something like petrol it will be it will be gone basically dried out so but this is something like some thick oil okay that's not very important we only need to focus on the material so, so now how do we get like a oil like surface here so for that here if i to this uh, texture coordinates if i apply a fresnel effect and now you see based on the direction i look at it it changes color see so now that's because we are feeding a constant to these parameters we are not actually defining any change in values so we get a single color but depending on the direction we are looking at we see a different color so if i add some varying parameter here so actually i had imported uh, no i just need some noise let's say let's try something like this At some point it looks all right, but not from all the directions. Uh, let's keep changing. Let's see normal. Mm. No, I think a water surface normal would work here. So I got it. This water ripple. So this is something I already had when I was working on water puddle. So let's use this one. Mm -hmm. Let me drag and drop here and connect to the normal. See? Oh, this is good. Somewhat, not perfect, somewhat. See, we get some values here. Mm. Okay, wait, it's not exactly. Oh, one more thing I forgot about. In order to have proper reflections, uh, let's have these parameters metallic, specular we should have high specular so one and roughness zero so it looks uh, like a reflective surface yeah what if we flatten this input With uh, let's promote this to a variable five. Uh, now we see more colors. Yeah, see now we are getting the effect we need getting closer. Mm, also, one more thing. Let's connect this value to the exponent in. Oh, nice. Now we see more variations. Okay. 
all right we need uh, more colors rather than this plain color so shall we try this one it's too red but these colors seems good okay this bluish and purple these colors seems perfect apart from this red so something with less red would do. Do we have Let's use this landscape Gizmo Hide local. Okay, this one has less red. Right. Mm. Right, now let's implement some movement on the surface. So, to get movements, let me do something like this. Uh, let's add the texture coordinate. Oh wait, we can have a panel here. And speed point Oh wait. That's too fast. Let's promote this to a variable. Mm, point zero one. Oh, that seems slow enough. And uh, let's have uh, so to cancel this moment because now it looks like it's flowing in a single direction rather than just some uh, turbulent type of a moment so let's add these two together and here let's multiply this with the minus one connect to the speed See, now it looks like it's moving around the surface. But it's still colors are not good. But we have some effect. And red area is way too much. So, speed. Let me further reduce 0 0.01. So, the speed is minimum. We still have moments but minimum um, to give some scaling to these normal maps we can add a texture coordinate here to this both this one I'll multiply by two not I don't see much of a change all right let's this one one oh 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 we do some good colors now with one oh nice oh, why did I put five here well actually I was testing the values let's see great Okay. So when it becomes okay, I think point six. 
this jelly seems good but what about the other angle so no so much right uh, let's add the color multiplier here before we put this in here so that we can affect the final color so vector parameter color it should not be black but let's have a bit darker color ah seems good yeah that seems good but also we have this uh, glass like reflection I'm not sure we actually need that so let's uh, we already have a normal let's try connecting it so we should be able to break the reflection somewhat oh yeah see looks good Hmm. Okay. Now, in a scale like this, we don't really see it properly unless we go closer. So maybe we can scale this up a bit yeah now it looks like this great so anyway that's up to you you can keep whatever the scale you want uh for now i'll keep it a bit smaller so yeah that's it i'm gonna stop this episode right here here is the final color so as always project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership for the Patreon. Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.